the um, meeting we had last week was uh, very productive. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> start, talked uh, in length about the uh, building committee recommendations and rent and and um, the uh, recording them for the uh, board of selectmen or to be presented to the board of selectmen. Not necessarily everything that was recorded in the meeting, but what we would uh, present to the board of selectmen at the end of this month. I believe their next meeting is somewhere around the 26th. Can you verify that, please, um, uh, Jeannie? Maybe she's disappeared. Um, she but, mentioned uh, that she's running two meetings tonight. Oh, she's so. running two meetings. Yeah. Okay. I can, um, uh, the, the, there is a meeting near the end of the month, either the 26th or the 28th of the uh, Board of Selectmen. And uh, at the conclusion of the of our meeting last week, I uh, well, it was recommended that we uh, move up any presentation or any uh, recommendations we have and at, at least have them av available to them for the next meeting, uh, their next meeting, which is the end of uh, end of this month, which is in about um, it's in a in a couple of uh, uh, well, yeah, it's in in about a week and a half or so. It's the twenty um, ninth, Joe. Pardon? It's the 29th. 29th. Okay. So it's actually uh, two weeks from today then. Um, the uh, recommendations were prepared by, by Mark, and uh, we could go over those today. Uh, the reason I called for a special meeting is that uh, two, uh, we had a quorum. We actually had four people on, uh, but we were missing Dave, Joe Paradiso, and AJ. And without that, um, uh, without a, a, a larger uh, the to get the input from a larger number of our committee, uh, I uh, I ask that we call a special meeting uh, for um, the day after the school the, the day after school opens or the, the day that school opens after the vacation. Uh, Dave Spurley is still on a he's either on a plane or he's just landed and he will be unable to make the meeting. But we'll have AJ and and uh, and Joe here in addition to what we had uh, we had at our last meeting. Uh, that would be the end of my chair's comments. Um, we'll move, we can move to we can move to new business. Uh, the um, I'll turn the meeting over to. I don't see Mark. Uh, are you Brian? Are you standing in for uh, or 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 Tom? Is someone standing in for Mark to present the uh, information that we uh, we developed at the meeting and then got again today, a revised edition or a revised version for Mark. Oh, there's Mark. Hey, everyone. I'm sorry, I just joined Joe. Okay. Uh, we're talking about the revised um, uh, updated spreadsheet that we shared at the last building committee meeting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So John, can you share your screen? And I just simply certainly updated uh, the column uh, that we focused in on last uh, last week. So uh, as a reminder, um, top to bottom, we have the scopes of work identified. We have building construction. Go down, John. Go down. I'm not going to go down to the groupings. We have building construction. The next section. Can you go to the next oh, no, I'm so, oh, okay. I, I thought you were going to go through each of those. No, I'm not going to go through each of them. Just the, okay. the major headings. All right. So we have building construction. The next grouping was, I believe, site. Site construction. Site construction. Correct. And then we had markups. Um, and we have the subtotal. We had escalation. And that green row represented what the construction value of each option scenario was. The light blue represents the original construction budget and where we were relative to on or over budget. And then we include the FF and E value, um, which we said was available. I did reduce in column uh, D, uh, the FF and E to $200,000. I believe that was at John's suggestion to represent if we're doing less scope, there would be less FF and E. So, uh, so that came down. So if you go back up to the top of the first page, 
Um, we had uh, the various options and column E represents uh, the outcome of last week's uh, meeting where we uh, said so these are the things that we would probably keep. Um, I did revise the enhanced uh, performance spaces to be all inclusive. So that 479 200 includes the gymnasium stage, the bleachers and the recital stage work. Um, everything else pretty much stayed the same. Um, the next page, I don't know if there was anything that changed there. Nope. Uh, I, I guess so. we just followed the recommendation of we had the reduced site upgrades and patio scope, the 450,000. And then the other markups down below. So you can see this iteration represents a $15.7 million, 15767 uh, or 3.586 million over the current budget. Mark, it looks like those numbers track identically to column B. Is there any delta between those two? Uh, no. The only thing I did differently, AJ, um, is I just I just worded the um, uh, the performance bases together. But you're right. I mean, that was essentially what the committee's decision was a few weeks ago, and it largely hasn't changed. Okay. So I created that column. I don't know if you were there, AJ, or not. I don't remember. Uh, I wasn't there last any, week. So. Yeah, there were going to be any changes, yeah. but it. The consensus was what was discussed. And if you go back up to the page one, John, I forget the date, sure. March, March 19th. March 19th. Yeah, that largely is the same, the same scope. Hey, Mark, on the uh on the, the FF and E for column D, do do we know that that's what's required for those three spaces that were going to be improved, or was that just a a, a plug number? It's a plug number. We'd have to go through the details and, and John and figure out what exactly we would spend. But we just sort of took a percentage. If we're taking out youth and family services, taking out beach and rec, you would have less um, areas. So there'd be some FF and E for uh, some use of the building. So we'd figure out how to spend two hundred thousand dollars, John, in that in that building. Yeah, just a suggestion before we present it to the 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 board um we probably want to get that to net out to zero and move any funds up into the into the building construction area oh we did i, I did add uh, five hundred thousand dollars worth of scope john to uh oh, okay. it says, finishes do... the flooring the painting you know some of those got uh enhanced uh, or additional dollars but there's a 200k balance at the bottom on page two yeah, th that that yeah, would just if you were if you were gonna include all of it, you know, um, if you spend the two hundred thousand dollars in the project, there's no surplus. Got it. Okay. Any questions on this, Joe? I guess I. It doesn't sound like we're making any different decisions than we made at the March nineteenth meeting. The, so, um, the 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 um, going forward instructions are different. This you are correct. This is the scope that we identified uh, March nineteenth. Uh, we've gone through a couple of um, uh, times with the uh, with the with the board, and uh, I I think they've in general have agreed with what we have. Uh, recommended for the scope. We haven't had uh, any considerable pushback uh, on what we've rec what our recommended scope is. Now they have they may not have seen all the numbers yet, but that is um, this is what we we identified earlier. This is what we have talked about now in uh, in, a, in, a, in board meetings and board selectman meetings, and uh, there has not been a a significant pushback. What has changed uh, is a um, a plan which isn't finalized yet uh, for going forward. So, if if we're if everyone's kind of comfortable from uh, in understanding what is here in the page, uh, maybe we can talk a bit about what's the going forward. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, Mark, do, you, do uh, Mark or Tom, do you want to do you want to talk about the you know the bid strategy or or the possibility of a of uh, how this these these um, any of these options uh, will play how we would play those into a bid strategy? Well, we could start with. I'll give you my opinion, Tom, and you can add yours. You know, we could further define, develop the documents based upon the base uh, scope of work, uh, column D. We could continue to develop the additional spaces um, that fall under column E, um, it, like the playground. I'm looking at that one for $225,000, right? That could, in theory, be, be bid as an alternate. So we could put a playground, bubble it, and say this is an, an ad alternate. If we don't have, this is all assuming we don't have a commitment of the 3.586 additional dollars. If that was going to fall, um, you know, after get, we give Tom the green light to proceed, um, you know, and we, we don't have the dollars, we can always pull it back. So, again, we could further advance the youth and family services space, um, beach and rec, and just identify that you don't want to have a lot of alternates. You don't want to have, you know, a dozen or two dozen, but we could group a lot of those major chunks into add alternates and have the bidders provide us a bid based upon column D uh, and add alternates for the scopes identified in, in column E, like the, the patio and the, the site amenities. Those could be bid as alternates. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if that was as, as it, maybe I could present it just a little more succinctly. Um, if you, if you go with the, which is the which is the the, the zero? Um, D. What column? What, column D. what column is just D. is the budget? That one. That was what? Not, what, what is that though? D. Column yeah, can D. you go up to page one, uh, Tom yeah. or, or or John? Okay. If you if you start with the um, column D, and you do, and Tom does well first. Um, you have column D and column E. Column D would be if we get no additional, if we at some point have no additional dollars. Column E, uh, the the delta in column column E would be what would be what we could do with additional monies. So, I believe what we're looking what we are looking to do today is to authorize the construction documents to be started by Tom, uh, and uh, in. In, in a way that uh, the the original all the original uh, dollars in column D uh, get uh, put into a single package, uh, and that uh, any additional uh, scope that's in column E also gets uh, completed. Construction do uh, documents get completed, and they're uh, put into buckets of ad alternates, as Mark said, half a dozen or so. So the basic scope D would be the would be the uh, you know the heart of the, the the first part of the bid package, and the deltas between D and E would be at alternates. But all of those would be begun. Uh, the drawings for those would be would be begun immediately, essentially, uh, as soon as Tom could could start. Would that be? Am I am I am I on track with that, Mark and Tom? Yes, the one thing that we talked about, Joe, uh, that would need to be figured out is youth and family services. So, so Tom has already developed the space based upon the original program, um, you know, through schematic design and design development. There was a discussion about maybe reducing the overall, um, you know, area that youth and family services will occupy, maybe reducing it. Um, so what Tom doesn't want to do, and I want to speak for Tom, is further advance an area that may get truncated um, in the short time, in the, in the very near future. And uh, the town uh, is meeting on that this week. Um, Al, are you involved in that? Is that? that but that's that's coming up this week with uh, um, a, a a fairly large group, uh, and and if. Uh, I don't have the complete list of people here, but if Scott or Austin on are on, 
Uh, I believe you could confirm that's going to be this week. Is that correct? Yes, I believe that is correct. And um, as I understand, the um, uh, selectmen are encouraging you to uh, move ahead at this point and uh, erect the uh, uh, the basic building, the functional building, and we, the selectmen, will then decide whether uh, we can provide additional funding now or at some point in the future. Um, am I answering your question, Joe? Uh, I, I think what you, you did was reinforce my original statement. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> there, what, uh, what Mark said was that there is, uh, there is some, still some uncertainty in the, in the Madison Beach and Rec uh, specifically, uh, the, the design of their, um, of their office space. So um, that would be something that might be left for last or. Was it Beach and Rec or Youth and Family Services, Joe? I thought it was Youth and Family Services. Probably Youth and Family Services. What did I say? I didn't say Madison Youth and Family Services. You said Madison Beach and Rec. Oh, no, so Madison whatever. Youth and Family Services. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that, that, is the, um, that is the largest space that's still not fully uh, agreed upon within the in you know inside the um, inside the town, and uh, that would be something that will be uh, that's being worked on and will be uh, worked through, uh, but maybe not in time for this meeting if we do decide to vote to uh, to begin construction documents, but uh, would be uh, something that would be resolved fairly quickly. Is yes. it possible, Joe? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. Is it possible, Joe and Al? that the board won't advance the conversation uh, or the process for seeking additional $3.5 million? Um, I, I think it's going to be a question mark of when, whether uh, we want to do it at this point in time or whether we are seeing this as a longer term uh, series of enhancements over a period of years. I think that's the decision the board will um, uh, want to reach uh, perhaps on the 29th, but the instructions uh, that we've issued so far is to proceed ahead with uh, the construction documents and continue on uh, getting ready to go out to bid. Including, Al, the, the, the scope that's in, identified in the additional $3.5 million? Uh, no, no. Uh, we're at 15.9 right now, okay. and that's, that's what your, uh, the instructions are proceed on that and the selectmen will quickly decide whether there's going to be additional monies at this point in time. Okay, so that's different. I wanna make sure that we're clear that we're only proceeding yeah, I'm, with- I, Al, Al, I'm, I'm not sure that, I'm not sure that was the last information I got. So uh, let's let's just say that that, that may, um, Let's just say that test that that will be that be something that the board of selectmen and the, and the Madison as uh, the Madison town has to decide, because the last information I had was that we would we would go ahead with all the construction documents, and then uh, have a the fifteen point nine would be one package, and then uh, the additional three million essentially would be a series of ad alternates, uh, because the the town may decide to go. With the with the additional funds, as soon as uh, the as soon as a referendum, which yeah. would could be, uh, which is at still at this point undetermined, could be this summer. It could be with the next um, at the general election, or it could be in parts over a, a longer period of time. I I think you and I are saying the same thing, Joe. You're probably saying it better. Okay, so just so we're clear, when Tom's given the green light to proceed. He can proceed with Beach and Rec and some version of Youth and Family Services in the clear story and everything that's included in column A. And we'll figure out a bidding strategy in terms of identifying alternates to control the pricing. Oh, yeah, that has to all be packaged in a very specific way, it sounds like. Like yes. we need to have construction documents that show oh, a building for fifteen yeah. nine. Yeah, exactly. And then we need to show yeah. packages that add on to that. Correct. Yes. 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 And the now, and 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 developing, uh, you know, which of those line items that are shown 
to a fine, you know, to a fine point at this point um, may may not be constructive because we're going to get another estimate uh, at, before we go out for for bids. Correct. So when 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 we get the uh, the next level of estimates, then the dollars then the dollars will be clearer on how much fifteen nine is and how much is over fifteen nine, and then the packages can be um, segregated. I That's imagine true. we need to have some sense of prioritization though, right? Well, unlike Massachusetts, AJ, you don't have to necessarily come up with a priority list. You may as a group, Massachusetts requires you to go one, two, three, four, and you can't choose two without choosing one and you can't choose four without three, two, and one. <laughs> Here, you're right. You could you could choose which, which of the four or five you want internally as a group. Now, be thankful you're not Massachusetts because <laughs> yeah. that is much tougher to navigate. Help me understand, at least in my personal life, when we do construction, we see when I when I, I ask builders for things, I see a lot of efficiency gained from larger projects versus smaller ones, right? So asking a flooring contractor to do half a building versus a whole building, I would expect to see a lower per square foot cost for a larger project so to a certain point is there something that the town has to factor in there when we're trying to like divvy this work up because guaranteeing a flooring contractor 10,000 square feet and guaranteeing them 40,000 square feet I would expect two different competitive bids out of that process yeah there's an efficiency you know to having a larger footprint for sure but you know and, and maybe the cost per square foot is less in a larger area but what's driving it is not the cost per square foot it's the total cost so i don't know i don't know if there's a there's a magic wand or a, a you know a formula that you can say okay you want to meet this amount of square footage it, footage for it to be uh, worth your while. If we could only do 10,000 square feet of flooring, because that's all we can afford, that's all we're going to bid, would we get a, a better unit rate for 50,000 square feet? Yes. But it'll cost you. It yeah. sounds like we're going to ask for both bids, though. We're going to ask to keep this flooring example, we're going to ask the flooring contractor to tell us how much would it cost for 10, how much would it cost for 40. Yeah, well, we're going to not really necessarily, we're right. going to say include uh, in the base bid carpeting for these spaces, right? Rooms A, B, C, D. Add alternate for carpet and F, G, H, I. So I guess my question is, if you do it that way, if you ask the contractors for two bids, will the addition of bid one plus bid two be roughly equivalent to what it would have been if you just said do the whole thing? Or would you expect that because you split it into an ad alternate, that their their markups might be higher, or that you might see different pricing in that scenario. Um. Yeah. I mean, again, if you break, so there's still going to be overhead charges and in, in, in general condition costs that you're going to have to pay, whether it's ten thousand square feet or fifty thousand square feet. So spread out over a larger, that general conditions is is, is lower. Mm -hmm. um so there's definitely an economies of scale by doing it that way but you know at the end of the day um you know the two should equal what it would be if we just said give us fifty thousand square feet off the uh, off the hook okay i mean i don't know tom or john or alicia you've been doing this uh, enough i don't know if you guys have any different thoughts or opinions I mean, it's a surgical approach, essentially, to, to you know, getting a, uh, a bid that aligns with the budget. Yeah, I mean, I would say at least um, in the residential approach, most of the time it's just, I mean, your material costs are going to be your material cost, right? Like a toilet fixture costs the same whether you're doing 10 of them or two of them. Um you do see economies of scales when you're doing certain applied um, finishes. Like if you were going to do a polished concrete floor, you know, 
that gets cheaper as you go bigger, which is why all the big warehouses do that. Um, but in general, it's mainly going to be your material costs are going to stay relatively the same. It's the labor costs um, that are going to fluctuate, especially if it's if it's um, broken up into phases as well, because then you have to remobilize your installers and all of that. But in general, I think your material costs, whether you're scaling up or down, are, are relatively the same, except for some very specific type finishes and materials that you're buying. Does that make sense, Mark? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's uh, we don't really get into the weeds of the contractor's um, business, um, you know, but when we're talking to estimators, um, you know, they'll tell us that, you know, it'll cost you a little bit less the larger footprint you have. Um, but not enough to, to where you're, where you're going to want to do AJ, you know, a hundred percent of the building versus 20% of the building. You'll never catch up. The, the main reason I'm driving at this point is because when we present numbers to Al in the town and we say it's a million dollars to do it this way, plus a million, if you want to do the rest of the building. But if you decide to do that later, that million might turn into 1.2 or 1.3. Well, right? so the so, biggest thing to factor into if you do it later is inflation and the cost of materials go up and who knows what labor rates are. So the longer you wait, the more likely you are to have it be more expensive if you do it two years later versus doing it all together. You're going to want a contract for it now, not not in, like to Felicia's point. If you decide to to do the other 80% in two years, you're right. It will cost more. <clears throat> because so of escalation. All the prices we have today are invalidated at that point because we can't go to the town and say, it's going to cost $3 million two years from now to add this stuff. It's not. It's going to cost yeah. a different We're, price. Our, our, right? our pricing exercise, AJ, is for this project today or in essentially six months when we get bids. Yeah. The, um, the the best the best outcomes the best outcomes we 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 put the the we do the construction drawings we put the bid uh, we put the, the uh, we put it out to bid uh, with with this strategy uh, somewhere either at the time we're 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 going out to bid or maybe just a, a little after uh, the town can then make a decision on will we be able to get more funds or not so. Uh, if we can get more funds, then we might be able to award the full contract or some larger portion of the of the of the contract than just the uh, the fifteen nine portion, uh, and um, and then we would bet, we would then have to somehow escalate the whatever the balance is for a, like a two year out, uh, but the, the timing um, could be the timing could be in our favor. Uh, if the town can act uh, soon enough to make a decision on what if we're going to get more funds or not, and uh, certainly the um, addition of the new of a second uh, grant uh, should make that should make that a pretty compelling story to for for the town to vote to make this a um, to make to do the, to do it essentially all at once or as much as all at once as we can we can do it so that we can uh, use the, um, we can take advantage of the grant money. We should say, I should say there is one more, there was one more step and um, it it should not be a difficult step, but if we were, if we're to go to the, to, to the board and the board is gonna go in front of the public, the list that Mark gave us is great for the committee. I think we understand the segments of it, but it does not fully describe what the building is going to look like with these dollar amounts. Uh, so a, a narrative or a description uh, in some way that says for this, you know, for, for this you get you get you get carpeting on the floors and you get painting, uh, but you don't get the lower level, which gets abated. And is going to look like is going to look rough. And uh, what a, what abated looks like is this, and what finished look like is this. And you'll get an elevator and whatever you know. At, at each level, we'd have to make a we'd have to make a description that is more 
more words than 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 dollars. And that's something that if we agree to go forward here, uh, that we have a couple of weeks uh, to do. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I mean, the the shell of the building won't change either way, right? Looks the same, regardless of which option we pick as a town. It's just what we get on the Between inside and some of the site yes. work. Yes. Right. Yeah. And it's what the inside that what's inside is what's going to get the most attention from the public. They'll, they'll walk right by the outside. And, you know, that looks great. Um, but uh, when you when you go inside, will you see you know finished spaces or will you see rough walls, rough floors? And hopefully, we'll, we'll, we might see some of the period um, the period floors uh, saved and and part of the remodeling process. So we're um, that would that would be our our goal by the next meeting, the next meeting of the board of selectmen, and then we have a meeting I think. Actually, I think we have a meeting just before that. I'm not in my my calendar, but I don't. I mean, this is a special that. meeting, so we have one next week. I think on the books. Yeah, the 23rd. So we have a meeting on the 23rd. The next town meeting yeah. is the 29th. So we have an, we have another we have another shot at this. But I did want to get this. Uh, I did want to get this reviewed and and um, and move forward if we can today. So if we're going to do it, um, I, I would need a um, I would need a motion to authorize Q A and M to proceed with the construction documents. I think that's what we need here, and I guess I'll ask Tom and uh, and Brian and, and Mark is that is that our next is that the next action you'd be waiting for from the committee? I would say yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can does, I? Does anything change? Would anything change our decision after the board select meeting versus before? I mean, we're talking two weeks, so or a week and a half. Is it worth waiting to make that determination for CD, or no. are we not going to learn anything new, and we might as well do it now? The only area we might get some feedback on is the extent of the tenant fit out for the offices. If there's a change, there's a change. We'll deal with it. But um, uh, moving forward um, sooner rather than later, we'll ultimately condense the schedule and hopefully get you to bid right in the fall, which is a good time to bid. Do, do I have a motion to um, to uh, authorize the uh, the Q and M to proceed with construction documents? So moved. Second. Any additional discussion? Questions? Comments? Um, there is just one thing that I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, just. Uh, since I've been in the building recently, the front entrance area um, in that auditorium space, significantly more water damage and crumbling plaster than um, post-referendum two years ago, which makes sense given the weather conditions. But um, I just wanted to bring that to your attention if it's something that just needs to be looked at from a structural engineer, because I think when we first went through the building that was in pretty good shape um so just you know for full disclosure um it looks like there's there's some significant rot going on there that that might need to be addressed on a larger scale than originally thought alicia we did a, a walkthrough t Connolly did a walkthrough at bill mcminn's request of the roof and we yep. identified some areas of concern and i thought he was going to have some patching and repairs done. So we did do uh, patching and repairs. The majority of it was to the 1930s edition specifically. Um, there was a lot of water damage um, in the uh, the gym area that was stopped. Um, 
but that front area wasn't addressed because at the time it, it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, I think what's happened with just the constant rain and wet we've had in the last year, and this is something I'm seeing down in the subterranean level as well, um, all of the gutters are off the building. So whatever, you know, leader drains were there to direct it away from the foundation are completely gone. So because it's just been constantly raining, um, it hasn't had time to dry out. And as a result, it's just really spalling and starting to fall apart a lot more than what, um, you know, the bones are brittle. It's not dry anymore. So it's really starting to um, show a lot of that wet impact a lot more than it did two years ago. So just wanted to bring that up as somebody who's seen sort of the progression of the building. Um, you know, the bones are still good, but that that plaster and, and that underlying timber is is damp to the touch. Is it possible that we can get uh, a patch job done in that area? Uh, we, I had, I'm sorry, go ahead, Mark. I, I, I had Munger uh, construction out there and yeah. they, they did about a day's worth of work in that whole section. Okay, good. Thanks, All right. Thanks Peter. Yeah, and then hopefully if it's patched up, it'll dry out and then we can take a look at, you know, yeah. what the substructure looks like once it's dried out. I also asked Peter to look at uh, removing the vegetation from the uh, from from the immediate uh, perimeter of the building. So yeah, that uh, it, once yep, it's we're, uh, we're going to take we're going to take care of that. The guys are busy with the fields right now. They're going to that oh, yeah. that is the uh, next on the list. So okay, so so that'll that'll help uh, uh, keep it uh, keep it drier as we go forward. Any other discussion? All in favor of the the uh, the motion. Raise your hand. Aye. 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 Okay. Looks like we um so we have six or five votes here. Um the Dave Dave is not not here. Joan previously uh indicated that she was in favor of doing this. So the we can we can note that the um the motion passed five to uh five to zero uh, was unanimous for the people here. Uh, but as a note, uh, Joan had uh, looked at the, um, uh, Joan was at our last meeting and indicated she was in favor of, of going this way. And uh, I will be contacting Dave separately to see if he, he has any any further information or he has any any uh, doubts or anything that he needs to add. But uh, I think we're going forward. I think we have the vote to go forward. Thank you, everyone. Um, since this is a special meeting, I can't ask for any additional uh, any any additional items. So um, the only thing I can ask is if uh, uh, Jeannie, if you're if, if anyone's on uh, from the public who would like to comment, uh, we will take public comment at this time. There is somebody. I will promote them. Jim, we, Jim, you're promoted. Can I? Uh, can can I have can we have your name and uh, your address? Sure. It's Jim Schmaltz, Jonathan's Landing. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. Um, I just had a couple of questions on like you were talking about moving the vegetation from in front there or around the building. Um, there's the lead contamination. Is that going to be addressed at the same time or? I'm not sure you'll be able to just, you know, dig out those plants if there's, uh, you know, lead in that soil. I think we'll, uh, I think that's noted. Um, Tom, would you, if you, we don't have to, we, we have, we have, we are not obligated. To uh, I, I just wanted to say that um, in regards to any potential contamination, our LEP will be advising us during the construction document phase as to what the work plan is going to be. So that's something that will be developed um, in the next phase of documentation. Will there be a new uh, estimate for abatement? The It looks like on the current estimates that you have, they're just allowances. They're not actually any estimates. And the estimate from before was substantially higher. It was almost 900,000. Um, it didn't include any of the interior lead abatement. Um, you talk about repointing the brick. There's uh, asbestos in the brick on the uh, older section of the building. 
all of the flooring is all asbestos. You know, it just it, it just seems like that's a very large number that isn't, you know, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe you do have it accounted for, you know, but you know, it seems like you're probably at least a million off if you're estimating half a million there. Joe, if I can inform the committee, I would just point out that, you know, the whole goal of the construction document phase is to raise the level of the detailing of the project and, again, identify updated costs for the project. If we can get a better handle on all aspects of the project, including any environmental issues, that would be a part of this next phase of work. Um, yeah, Tom, I thought, John, didn't you say that we were getting an updated uh, uh, estimate from Tulsa O'Neill? Did you, or did it, uh, maybe I was thinking. Yes, I, I believe they are working on that, Mark, correct. Okay, so uh, Jim, we'll have an updated uh, estimate. And again, one of the reasons why the number is less is because there was a significant amount of work that was related to the building being completely demolished uh and foundation waterproofing but since that's not happening we we don't need to um include that scope but we'll get an updated estimate based upon what we're actually doing because it seems like you need to give that to you know when you're getting uh cost because it's going to change what they're going to their starting point of what they have you know mm -hmm. if they're looking at a smooth floor versus something that's just destroyed um, you know, all of that, all the interior walls, all the trim, um, you know, all the architectural details, everything, uh, you know, will either be gone or have to be painstakingly taken care of. Jim, thank you for your comment. All right. Thank you. Uh, Jeannie, any other uh, hands raised? There are no other hands raised. So uh, thank you, everyone. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. I um, um, meeting adjourned. Thank you. Cheers, all. Bye. Take care, everyone.